in the realm of the British royal family, Lady Louise Windsor, the eldest child of the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, is not under immediate pressure to make decisions about her royal career. Currently studying English literature at the University of St Andrews, the same institution where Prince William and Princess Catherine met in 2001, Lady Louise, at 20, is given ample time to finish her education before contemplating whether she wants to become a working royal. Her parents, Prince Edward and the Countess of Wessex, chose not to give their children royal titles at birth, instead styling them as children of an earl due to Edward's former title of Earl of Wessex. With Prince Harry, Meghan Markle and Prince Andrew stepping down as working royals, there are patronages left unfilled, prompting suggestions that King Charles may need to enlist more family members to take on these responsibilities. Lady Louise, with her potential as a working royal, emerges as a viable choice. Gareth Russell, a royal biographer, points to a potential strategy inspired by other European monarchies, such as the Dutch monarchy in Sweden, where royals are given substantial time for education before taking on public duties. This approach aligns with the idea of Lady Louise being granted the freedom to make career decisions post-graduation, ensuring that she is well prepared for any role she may choose. The lack of royal titles at birth for Lady Louise and her brother James, aged 15, reflects the intentional choice made by their parents. While James inherited the Earl title after Edward took the dukedom last year, the absence of formal titles at birth allows the siblings more flexibility in carving out their own paths within the royal family. This deliberate decision has given Lady Louise the opportunity to focus on her education and personal development before entering the public sphere. In navigating the complexities of royal duties and the need to fill vacated roles, Lady Louise's potential role as a working royal is discussed as a strategic move. The suggestion is that her suitability for such a position would be evaluated post-graduation, allowing her to excel in her chosen field before committing to royal responsibilities. The British monarchy, it seems, may be adopting a more considered and patient approach to integrating younger members into their official roles, aligning with the changing dynamics within the royal family.